Hey guys. Hey guys. We're back with another Walking Dead predictions video. In this video, we're going to do our predictions for The Walking Dead Season 7. These will be very high-level predictions because we have almost no information to go on. So, if you're not totally caught up on The Walking Dead and you want to avoid any potential spoilers, skip this video and come back later because everything we say from this point forward could be a spoiler. Okay, so as of right now, we don't really know who died at the end of Season 6, but we have some ideas. Yes. And tops on the list is still Glenn. Yeah, I'm like 95% sure yeah. Glenn's the one who got the bat. It is most likely someone who uh, was in the, the truck, because those were all first person, like, kind of looking at the door as the, the light was... Coming beaming in, in yeah. through the holes and those those were first person views and then of course the death took place via a first person view so i think that's the clue we got four characters four potential deaths here there was michonne rosita daryl and glenn now daryl's hurt yeah daryl was shot and he did not look very good when he was down there on his knees with everybody else he was very very pale um he looked kind of wobbly so I don't know if he was hit with a bat, if he would have been able to retain consciousness just because of how injured he was. I think he probably would have been one and done if he took a, if he took a bat shot. Yeah, at, at where he was at, because he was injured. He'd been bleeding for however many hours. Mm -hmm. he, he was very weak at that point. And then we have Rosita and Michonne, both females. I don't see a female getting this death. Yeah, I don't either, um, but I have other reasons. Rosita, for, to me, just doesn't seem like she would have been able to take two hits without um, being knocked unconscious on the first one. Michonne would have, mm -hmm. but... Um, Michonne just seems tougher than Rosita. Yeah, yeah, she does. She just seems much tougher. So uh, Michonne, I could definitely see taking um, more than one hit. However, when Negan's doing the... The hitting and you can kind of hear stuff in the background it sounds like a girl screaming and if Michonne was hit I would think that Rick would have had a reaction and we would have heard a more like a deeper uh, scream from him as opposed to the female scream or what sounded like a female scream that we did have so that leaves Glenn I think it's gonna follow the comic books and we're gonna get Glenn's death yeah in season seven the premiere if they decide to throw us a curveball i think it'll be abraham actually yeah if they decide to have teased those point of views so we think it's one of those four and then it's not one of those four one i'm gonna be mad because that's just annoying it's, it's and a fake it's, out yeah, and it's i'm tired of it. yeah it's it's just it'd be stupid I, I don't know, it'd be poor writing for me um because the the point of view shots only happen with the four who in the, who were captured. So if it's not one of them, I'm going to be really, really upset about that. But if it's not, I agree with him. I think it'll be Abraham. I don't think Carol and Morgan will appear for the first few episodes. I think it's going to be a little while before Rick and the gang make it to the kingdom and discover Carol and Morgan alive and well. Yeah, I agree with that. I didn't think that Carol and Morgan would even... Well, Carol wouldn't even be in the finale, but because she was... I could see them going a couple episodes. I could even see them going almost the first half season without having any Carol or Morgan um, and having, you know, th them, the next time we see them is when Rick goes to, to the kingdom for help. Um, and it just depends on how, how far they want to stretch the Negan story, how, you know, and when that point comes in. It could be halfway through the first, uh, first half season or it could be at the mid-season finale, you know, something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't think we see Carol and Morgan for a while, which is sad. Also, look for Rick's leadership to get a serious challenge from Alexandrians. I'm thinking Tobin and Spencer, because he has been completely outclassed by Negan. Yeah. And the Alexandrians are prone to second-guessing him. We saw it in the first half of this season. We're going to see it in the first half of next season. Yeah. Especially if it sticks, like, like if Rick follows the plan that he was, that he followed in the comic book, the Alexandrians are not going to be cool with it. 
Yeah, I agree. I think either Tobin or Spencer is going to challenge Rick's leadership. Most um, likely Spencer. Yeah, I, 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 I get Spencer too. Like I, Tobin kind of seems like he runs his mouth, but he doesn't actually have anything behind it. Whereas Spencer runs his mouth and then also tries to back it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, he fails miserably, but at least he's going to try to back it up and he would at least try to take leadership from Rick. Plus, he is Deanna's son, yes. so if anybody's going to feel entitled to a role of yeah. leadership, it's going to be Spencer. Yeah. And at this point, I don't see how Tara and Heath could have possibly gone out on that run and been totally okay with as much as many saviors as there were out there and on patrols and everything else. Tara and Heath are probably in trouble. I'm looking for an ode to uh, The Walking Dead issues 119 and 120. I'm not going to give away that scene. If you want to look it up, you can do that yourself. <laughs> so, if they do decide to throw us a curveball, and it is Abraham who got the bat, I see Maggie dying from her miscarriage, and then Glenn inheriting her story from the comic, minus Baby Herschel. Yeah, I agree. Um, if it wasn't Glenn who got the bat, then I do think that Maggie dies at some point in the near future of uh, Season 7 because um, they kind of really have to split that couple up. Yeah. Um, if it's anybody but Glenn who died via Lucille, Maggie's going to die very early in Season 7, probably the first episode. Yeah. Um, but I do not think that Maggie got Lucille in any way, shape, or form no. because she was so sick that she wouldn't have been able to keep consciousness she after one She could barely day. stay up. Yeah, she could on barely knees, keep consciousness so. just sitting there on her knees. So yeah, I, I definitely don't think she got the bat. But if somebody besides Glenn got it, then yeah, I, I think the miscarriage ends up killing her. Yeah, either way it goes, I don't think we're going to get baby Herschel in the show. We already have a baby. We have Judith. Yeah. I think another one is just going to be another thing that they have to ignore. Yeah. Because, I mean, Judith is hardly in the show at all. Yeah, no, she's not. And in the comics, Judith does die um, fairly early, which they didn't do. So because they didn't do that, I don't think they'll keep Ma uh, Maggie's pregnancy. I think she definitely is miscarrying, miscarrying and, um, yeah, no more babies, at least anytime soon. And that's pretty much all we have for our theories as to what could happen in Season 7, at least early on in Season 7. There's a lot of different directions they can go. Um, it's super frustrating following the cliffhanger. Yeah. Um, and it's not so much the cliffhanger. Like yeah. we explained last night in our review, it's not that we have a cliffhanger. Yeah, the cliffhanger sucks, but... If AMC was able to keep things under wrap and there was no way we were going to get spoiled before the Season 7 premiere, it would just be a crappy cliffhanger that you have to wait to see. But it's... The problem, yeah. is, <laughs> the, the problem is they can't keep a lid on anything. Yeah. Everything that can leak does leak. And it, I guarantee you it's going to leak two or three months before the, the season premiere. And at some point it's going to be impossible to avoid. Yeah. And that's my main fear. And that's what I'm so angry about, really. Yeah, that's it's, what makes that cliffhanger... It's wildly irresponsible to write that, knowing the day and age we live in with social media and how easily this stuff is obtained by various groups who specialize in getting spoilers. Yeah. It's wildly irresponsible to do something like this, especially to your fans. I mean, come on. Yeah. That's it. If it was any other show, it would just be a frustrating cliffhanger. But because it's The Walking Dead and everything gets spoiled on The Walking Dead, there is a website dedicated to the spoilers of The Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, so because of that, it, it's very, it makes us very angry because we are going to get spoiled. This is almost guaranteed that we are going to get spoiled on who um, ended up dying at Lucille prior to the episode airing. Yeah. And we don't like spoilers. We really, really no, don't really, like spoilers. No, really, really don't like spoilers. <laughs> and just from the, the... I've read interviews with Scott Gimple today, and he, he seems to really think that the, the season seven premiere will justify the cliffhanger. And I've really kind of lost faith in The Walking Dead writers with the death fakeouts 
and the, the, the cliffhangers and the inconsistency of, like, that Glenn scene. That, the, the scene was a disaster. Oh, yeah. Gosh, that scene was there awful. There were so many mistakes and logistical errors in that scene that I've lost faith in, in the, the writers and the directors of The Walking Dead, and I just don't trust them to carry out the resolution of this, of this cliffhanger. Yeah, and the fact that he's saying he thinks we'll be okay with the cliffhanger after we see the premiere makes me think, like, everybody thinks it's Glenn. Basically, everybody thinks that it was Glenn. So that makes me think with almost, like I said, I'm like 95% certain that it's going to be Glenn is because... Also, because of him saying that we'll, you know, we'll be okay with the cliffhanger once we see the premiere, and that's basically the only way we'd be okay is if, you know, if what we all think is correct, mm -hmm. and you basically can't spoil it. Like if I hear a spoiler that Glenn was the one who got the bat, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, yeah, well, I was right. Yeah. Um, so that's like the only way that that cliffhanger being spoiled wouldn't really upset me too terribly much. If, say, hypothetically, it's Daryl who gets the bat. I really don't think it was, because I just don't think he was healthy enough in that moment to yeah. survive more than one shot. Um, but let's let's say he was. Let's say Daryl got the bat. And I think revealing Daryl's death in a season premiere... I huge mistake. Hu huge mistake. I, I, I think it's, it's cheap, because you're going, all right, we know if we kill him off in a finale... A certain percentage of viewers aren't going to come back for the premiere of the next season, and I, I think that's the message that you would send. And I think in the long run it would hurt. So I really hope I hope they don't go that route, especially with the rivalry between Daryl and Dwight firmly established now. Yeah, they have so much story there. If they killed off Daryl, I'd be pissed just because they set us up for the story and then just cut it off yeah. without pursuing it. And we have various theories about Daryl and Dwight. Yes. Like, we, like I firmly believe that Dwight will die sometime during the all-out war arc, and Daryl will move into his story from the comic book. Now, here we're going to get into some comic book spoilery type stuff, so if you want to avoid that kind of stuff, turn the video off now. now it feels to me like in the comic book, they're setting Rick up to die, and for Dwight to possibly step into that role of leadership. Now, imagine if they're going that route, knowing that in the show, if they kill off Rick, Norman Reedus can move into the lead lead uh, male actor spot. Yeah. M move Daryl into the be the main character of the show. The ratings would blow up. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. That's if our theory about you know, them gearing up for Rick's death in the comic is true, which it feels like. Yeah, it because does he's, feel like it. he's becoming more like a dictator and obsessed with keeping his power. Like, he even confronted Michonne about it. Like, you're not going to overthrow me with the kingdom, are you? Like, he's really genuinely concerned about being overthrown. And that, to me, is like the, he's got one step, like, stepping into the darkness, and that does not bode well for him. Okay, we kind of went off on a tangent there. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Would love to know what you guys' theories are for the Season 7 of The Walking Dead. Let us know down in the comments how you think it's going to shake out. Who do you think got the bat? Who do you think is going to die in the season early on? Do your predictions jive with ours, or do you have something completely different? We would love to hear it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, and we really hope you did, tell us by clicking that like button and subscribe for more reviews. And thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.